We have some Isaiah Hartenstein free agency news. I thought this was interesting to get out to you guys. It was a story published by Stefan Bondi, pretty much insinuating that the Oklahoma City Thunder's interest in Isaiah Hartenstein is very, very real. So what I'm going to do is share my screen with you guys and we can go through this story together. I think this is a good, you know, engaging exercise for both me and you guys watching the video. So let me just share my screen with you guys. Here we go. Boom. There it is. All right. One thing about the New York Post, because Stefan Bondi is from the New York Post, and I just happened to, you know, come across this article. There's so many ads. There's so many ads in the New York Post website. All right. Let's try to get through this with all of these ads in the background. Okay. Thunder could seriously complicate Nick's Isaiah Hartenstein plans. That is the title of this article article and then it says the competition for isaiah hartenstein could very well include a team with a dangerous trio cap space legitimate title aspirations pretty much says okc can make a strong bid for isaiah hartenstein and the new york knicks were capped out but can offer a starting salary of roughly 17 million using their early bird rights the thunder have roughly 35 million in cap space and a glut of draft draft assets to build on its surprising success um, let's just get to the meat of this story, the meat of the article. What can the New York Knicks offer? What can the, we know what the Knicks can offer, but I want to see what he thinks the Thunder will offer Isaiah Hartenstein. It's real. An NBA source said of OKC's interest in Isaiah Hartenstein. It's, it's scary. You know, the Thunder, when the season ended, I brought up the Thunder as a possible destination for Isaiah Hartenstein because they need a big because they need an offensive rebounder they need like an enforcer down low and that is an absolutely amazing fit for their team so i can see why their organization would want to acquire an isaiah harnstein so it's real you know it's real the nba source says it's real and i'm gonna get to the meat of this article pretty much saying what the thunder can offer okay one leak source speculated the thunder would offer a short-term deal short-term deal such as two years with a high salary providing both sides with long-term flexibility given the, their cap restraints the knicks offer for isaiah hartenstein can max out at four years 72 million dollars essentially the same contract they gave joakim noah in 2016 but pretty much he's insinuating that the thunder i don't think it's in this article but pretty much he's insinuating that the Thunder can offer Isaiah Harnstein like two years, $45, $50 million, right? And if they offer him two years, $45, $50 million, that's $25 million per year. So the Knicks' highest bid can only be, what, 17 So that is an extra $7 million in Isaiah Harnstein's pocket. So they can kind of do like a Bruce Brown deal. You know how Bruce Brown did that two year, the high, I think it was like 20 million year one, 20 million year two player option, something like that. So a team like that can't come in and just offer Isaiah Harnstein more annual value per year. Knicks can give him the financial comfort in four years, 72 million. So he doesn't have to deal with this free agency again. And he can just want to come back to New York and hope that the New York Knicks will build the championship team and he'll be comfortable in New York. Obviously, he knows the guys already and obviously he knows the area, but this is scary. This is scary, in my opinion. OK, this is what I was talking about. Bondi at OKC could make a huge short term offer, say two years, 45 to 50 million dollars. That gives both sides flexibility and gets Hardenstein back on the free agent market in a couple of years as the salary cap starts to climb fast from the new television rights. But if if Hardenstein signs with OKC, it's going to be interesting if he starts. He could be a backup center. It even insinuates this in the in the article. But look, if Hardenstein is money driven, he's about to have a baby trying to get that, you know, bag as he should. OKC is a very viable option for him and obviously the knicks want to keep him but the max deal the knicks can put on the table is four years 72 million dollars so the expectation around the league is that some team with cap space and a need of more of a more traditional center will come in over the top and offer more 
north of 80 and closer to 90 for four years. And Hartenstein will take it. Guys, what do you guys think of this? What do you guys think of this article? We all knew this was coming. Not saying Isaiah Hartenstein is leaving, but the Knicks can only offer him $72.5 million over four years. A team at cast pace can obviously blow that, not blow it out the water, but offer him more. So it comes down to this, whether Isaiah Hartenstein loves New York and wants to stay in New York and takes a discount. I wouldn't call it a discount, but it's a lot of money. Look, when you're talking about millions and 72 million and 90 million, I mean, when you're making that much money, like, I mean, that's generational wealth right there for an NBA player can set his family up for decades to come. But let's say Isaiah Hartenstein takes the OKC Thunder deal. It's going to be very interesting where the Knicks pivot. How, what direction do they go? Obviously, the Mitchell Robinson trade rumors, you could squash that because then essentially we would need a center. And good thing we had Mitchell Robinson signed for a few years, a couple of more years. So he would essentially move back into that starting center role unless the Knicks get kind of funky this summer and try to find another big or another stretch five in here that can, you know, fill the void of Isaiah Harnstein. But if Isaiah Harnstein leaves, that's, that's that would be a shocking, honestly. And the Knicks would definitely have their hands full if that were the case, because I do think they want Harnstein back desperately. And he's a huge part of what we do. But this is the NBA, man. You got to do what best for him. And... We just have to wait and see. So it's going to be interesting the way the Knicks kind of configure their roster if Hartenstein were to leave. Then it's like, what now? The draft is before free agency. So do the Knicks kind of take an insurance policy before that happens? Who knows? But this is from Stefan Body. Just wanted to get you guys this information as quickly as possible. Isaiah Harnstein, does he stay or does he go? The Thunder are a valuable option. Smash the comments. Let me know what you think. Does he stay or does he take the more or does he take more money in OKC? Up and coming city. Great team. I'm sure they'll op- they'll welcome him with open arms. Let me know in the comments below. What are you guys thinking? Smash the subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up button. I'm Anthony from Next Nation. I appreciate you. I'll be here all summer breaking these stories down, rumors, the whole nine. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.